Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. the kicker that's Cameron Dicker set to get us started and off we go from M&T Bank Stadium and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. of two on the first play from scrimmage second down the defense was ready for the run pass option diagnosed it perfectly not only did they stack him up at the point of attack but he was met by a host of light colored jerseys now Jackson on second down and that's going to be incomplete my first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Throwing is Jackson. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Here's Jackson to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Jackson on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. Catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And 
receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And the slot man goes in motion left. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Arthur Mellon. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens have taken the lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, He's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pass. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. They're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And they'll send the slot in motion left. He's got it. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. In motion left goes Allen. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. To the air again, Herbert. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. But it looked like it marched to the end zone. He's had a momentary work going with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he is caught. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 
And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense set at the line for this next drive and that 14 nothing lead to be in the ball game well that's gone now time to regroup I think even up two touchdowns they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team let's stay with it let's keep going it's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him and they have as you said let's see if they can regroup and get going again a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. Again, it's OBJ. Back-to-back -back catches. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. play and they'll hand to Dobbins and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line on second down here's Jackson that's for Bateman and it's intercepted and the Chargers are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line you don't see this often, a quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms, what is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? Allen, the man in motion, left. Herbert's throw there, complete to Allen. Down the left sideline. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And the slot man goes in motion left. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. In motion left goes Allen. 
It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Chargers have taken the lead. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy. The 2 2 interception in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny United. And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember, was going for the age. I remember looking over at him and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. And he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. From the 31, here comes second in the yard. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now it's Jackson. Quick slam complete to OBJ. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. That flag's come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. They'll take it into the end zone for the Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that was going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Going with a dime left on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Allen, the man in motion left. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail the connect on third. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just fell the field with extra defensive backs in their dime forces the incompletion. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. That's taken on the 25. 
It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always... There he goes, right side. Now he's free at the 35. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. In motion left goes Allen. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Josh Palmer, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are able to capitalize on the force fumble by turning it into six points. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And the Ravens are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They'll start with the option. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big time gain there on the kick. 
keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, a run with Dobbins. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Jackson. And this one is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. To throw is Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Flowers. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three at the 17 yard line. Now Jackson. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy that can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. And Jackson throwing once more. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Dobbins. Touchdown, Baltimore. And you can forget this defense just a bit here. They know how dangerous Lamar Jackson is running the football. Stopping him is in many ways a prime concern. So here, they're late to react to the handoff on the option. And it costs them as this one to protect the ball. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Was that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will back now in Baltimore. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One-score game. First and ten here. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Allen, the man in motion left. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten. To the air again, Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 15-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. In motion left goes Allen. This is caught. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an Albert boy there on first down, got his hand in and knocked it away. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They hand off to their big tight end. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. For the lead, here's third and goal. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Just a simple one play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They snap it to Herbert. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And as a result, they could have had the lead with a field goal. Instead, they turn the ball over on downs. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape. But can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going. And above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. Now a second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And they'll get him down past the 15 yard line. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it a gain of 12. A big first down to get away from the end zone. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down. Keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to Devin Gladwell. And in 
incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Fourth down, here's Jackson. And he is caught. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. What a chance they just took. A huge chance. They go for it on fourth. they wind up getting the first. Go ahead and admit it. You thought it was a bad call, didn't I you? I did. Yes. I think, I, think did any, I think any normal person <laughs> did. How about him picking it up? Give him credit. Now Jackson. It's caught by OBJ. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Second and six. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Again, it's OBJ back to back catches. And he has the Ravens first down. And it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. It's a pickup of 13, and with that 13 yards, this ball game just about over. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. And they will take a knee here. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about, <laughs> how, many, how many coaches we talked to? They all said the same. All I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over right the way that you close the way that you finish that gets preached to you from the time you're playing little league football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big time performance down